Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video, doing European Outlook for today's second video. So as also on a Thursday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for next week, 10 days across Europe. And I should get to that for you in a moment. Just say that first, the video we say was our extended today. It's nearly six minute long, 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, bringing you up to date with all of the uh, latest info with Storm Babette. So uh, have a look at uh, that one. And so we've got a 10 to 14 day coming to later on today as well please like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content and uh, thank you so much everybody for uh, doing that right let's start off with the situation across Europe today so uh, of course got deep low pressure in the Atlantic and that's moving into the western side of Europe that low of course is storm the bet we've also got a Scandinavian high sitting across central and northern parts of Norway Sweden and that's putting in a very cold northeasterly wind into the far north of Europe. Eastern parts of Europe seen southerly winds, so pretty warm over there. Up there, temperatures look warm actually across most parts of uh, Europe away from the north. So we have got a, a block of very cold air sitting across Scandinavia and into the Baltic Sea states of northwest of Russia as well. But to the south of that, uh, pretty warm actually, especially so for the southern and the east and south eastern parts of Europe. But also the west of Europe is bringing up, uh, we are bringing up some warmer air with uh, this area of low pressure, that is Storm Babair. So precipitation wise, lots of dry weather across the north of Europe under that area of high pressure. But there are snow showers that are being fed in on those northeasterly winds. So not going to be completely dry, there will be snow showers, snow flurries around, especially southern parts of the Finland and down into the Baltic Sea states, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, come some stove roads through there. Possibly coming across the Baltic Sea into some uh, eastern parts of Sweden as well. Lots of dry weather on the eastern side of Europe, but some showery bursts of rain here and there. But it's really in the west of Europe we've got the unsettled weather. So particularly through Spain, Portugal, some really heavy rain pushing through there. Of course, welcome rain uh, for them, but some very wet weather pushing through there. And then wet weather extends up through France in towards uh, the UK and Ireland. Really wet through eastern parts of Scotland. That's where we've got the red warning um, for the rest of today tonight and into tomorrow and then that wet weather extends over in towards the low countries <laughs> hold on <coughs> excuse me it extends over into the low countries and also western parts of germany as well so uh temperature wise today look how cold it is across scandinavia bitterly cold air sitting across much of norway and into sweden finland uh as well as included in that very cold down into the Baltic Sea states too. Pretty chilly through Poland and back to northern Germany and Denmark as well. But areas south of that, lots of warm weather uh, through France and towards southern western parts of Germany, the low countries as well. Spain, Portugal, limited temperatures a little bit today because of all of the heavy rain pushing through there. But generally it's quite warm and warm through the med, especially into Italy and over the Adriatic into the Balkans as well. And usually warm really from the Balkans towards the Black see Ireland and the UK or certainly England and Wales quite warm it is a little bit cooler for Scotland that's the scenario for tomorrow Friday so high pressure is still in over Scandinavia so remaining very cold there otherwise it's this big low sitting over top of the UK and Ireland that is going to be dominating weather from most central western parts of Europe bringing really unsettled conditions too but summer wind continues over on the east of Southeast side of Europe, very warm, actually quite hot there coming out of the uh, out of Africa through the Med in towards Italy and uh, into the Balkans and again from the Balkans to the Black Sea. It looks really warm there for uh, so late in the year. Pretty mild in the western part of Europe as well, but still looking cold across much of Scandinavia and uh, the Baltic Sea states with uh, with those east northeast winds continuing. Very wet weather in western Europe as well. Some really heavy rain through France into Ireland and uh, into the UK as well. Heavy showers, but the storms kicking off over the Alpine regions are down into northern Italy. Um, areas to the uh, east of that, lots of dry weather really, and up in Scandinavia again, quite a lot of dry weather there, but there will be some snow showers and snow flurries coming around uh, at times. Wet weather pushing in towards the uh, Ukraine there as well from Russia. And then down into the Med, well, it's not going to be a wet through Spain and Portugal, but still some quite heavy showers uh, through there, and they extend into the 
Western Bowl of Med Trains well, the eastern part of the Med Bowl looking mostly dry. Very warm outdoor hot in the southeastern corner, but obviously much, much colder in the north and in the northwest as well. That's Saturday, so the broad setup remains the same, but the scheduled high begins to weaken a little bit and starting to allow some slightly milder air packs to come up into southern parts of Scandinavia. So southern Norway, Sweden, perhaps turning a little bit milder there. We'll look at the upper air temperature at the moment. Low pressure still sitting over the top of the uh, UK. I have great big dark board still uh, sitting there. And we still have those southerly winds on this uh, east and south, east and side of Europe. Uh, upper air temperatures, yes, they are beginning to pick up over Scandinavia, but it's still pretty cold, of course, under that area of, uh, of high pressure. Um, the warmest upper air temperature over on the east and south east side of Europe again, and out in the west, the upper air temperature actually uh, going back closer to uh, average. Lots of showers, longer spells of rain across many western parts of Europe. More heavy rain gathering in the Atlantic, beginning to push towards uh, Portugal, perhaps. And it's starting to turn more settled in the east as well, so some heavy showers and boats on back breaking out through parts of the Balkans, for example and down into southern parts of Italy as well. Uh, this band of rain, sleet and snow through southern parts of uh, Scandinavia, over into the Balk Baltic Sea states. Um, that could give some uh, significant snow, but will probably turn back towards uh, rain as the milder air begins to uh, tuck in. So still quite cold across central and northern parts of Scandinavia and into Norway as well. Um, not as cold through the Baltic Sea states, but still pretty chilly really. So the south of that but it's in a very clear divide, you know, in the temperature. So to the south of that colder area, looking pretty mild. Although Western Europe is beginning to cool down, actually, with the winds coming in from the North Atlantic. Hottest temperatures, again, somewhere close to the uh, Black Sea from the Balkan to the Black Sea. Very, very warm. On into Sunday, the Scandinavian high is disappearing. So um, Western Europe remains unsettled with low pressure. A ridge patch trying to build over on the eastern side of Europe. Your prayer temperatures look warmest in the east and the south. But it's picking up a little bit through Scandinavia as well. And generally mild across western parts of Europe. And precipitation, where we've got heavy rain um, into Portugal. And it's setting into Spain as well. The next batch of wet weather pushing through there. More wet weather up western side of France and some showery conditions into Ireland of the UK as well. Showery into Denmark and southern parts of uh, Norway and Sweden. I would expect that's mostly rain by this point. Maybe quite a bit of dry weather through the central regions. That's a few more showers over on the east side of uh, Europe, so eastern Poland and towards uh, Ukraine. And again, there could be some snow in towards western Russia, perhaps affecting some of those Baltic Sea states again. Um, Temperature-wise, I should say, on Sunday, so it still looks cold across northern parts of Scandinavia. Otherwise, average temperatures in western parts of Europe and still very warm over in the east. That takes us through to Monday, when it looks like we've got another area of low pressure developing through the western side of Europe. We are beginning to pull up some southerly winds, so into some western parts of Europe as a ridge begins to form over on the eastern side of Europe. Upper air temperatures look pretty warm up west side, especially from the bed through eastern parts of Spain into France and heading towards the low countries and some Germany as well. Cold air just begin to dig back in to the very far north of uh, Norway, Sweden and Finland there and uh, still looking very warm, hot even over on the east and southeast side of Europe. Uh, precipitation wise, heavy rain through Spain, Portugal, moving north into France and starting to head towards southern parts of England and Wales as well. Meanwhile, the rest of Ireland and the UK has further showery births, but a lot of dry weather through the central regions until we run back into more showers over on the east side of Europe. And again, there could be a wintry mix across parts of Scandinavia. Temperature wise, so very cold air digging in to the extreme north of Norway, Sweden, and Finland and far northwest of Russia. As I say, otherwise, from the south of that boat, it gets progressively uh, milder. Average temperatures really through uh, the UK and Ireland, quite warm through France, and uh, areas further east of that getting the warmest weather, especially again through the east and southeast part of the Mediterranean. That takes us through to Tuesday, so we're having a go at getting another high pressure going over northern Scandinavia, actually, but we are pulling up like a southerly wind through the central and eastern parts of Europe as lower pressure again. Heads into Western Europe from the Atlantic. The upper air temperatures look quite cold. The extreme north Scandinavia into northwest Russia, otherwise generally quite uh, mild. And over on the east side of Europe, pretty warm. 
And as far as the rainfall goes, or precipitation goes, on Tuesday. So, again, we could have some snow flows in the far north of Scandinavia. Maybe a wintry mix through parts of uh, central Sweden. Heavy rain in towards Norway and Denmark in southern Sweden there. And then heavy rain extends down through the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, west of Germany, and particularly into France. Some very wet weather coming into there. Further rain through the Bay of Biscay towards Spain and Portugal. And wet weather, heavy showers, first of all, spells of rain through a central part of the bed over towards Italy as well. There could be some significant snow over the Alps, of course. Showers, long spells of rain for the UK and Ireland. To the east of that, a lot of dry weather again through both central and eastern parts of Europe. Anywhere from Poland to east was looking pretty dry uh, on Tuesday. And uh, temperature-wise, looking very cold across the far north. Otherwise, quite warm through the southern and southeastern regions and about average temperatures through the western part of Europe. Low pressure in the ascendancy in the west on Wednesday. Another attempt to get a Scandinavian high going across northern and northeastern parts of Europe. Temperature, red temperatures looking generally mild or warm in most areas, but quite cold into the extreme northeast of Europe there. And a further heavy rain pushing in off the Atlantic to Western Europe, so particularly once more through France, Spain and Portugal looking really wet there. Some of this wet weather extending into the UK and Ireland as well. Further rain pushing east was actually as well on Wednesday, so wet weather through uh, Germany and into Poland. Poland as well, and some showers and longer spells of rain in the southeastern corner as well. So, as the week goes on next week, it looks like it's turning more and more settled, just mainly dry and quite cold far north and northeast Europe. That's where the coldest temperatures are in the far north and northeast, but overall, um, warm temperatures in the eastern side of Europe and um, near normal temperatures over on the western side of Europe. Low pressure dominating most parts of Europe as we go through into uh, Thursday. Again, we see upper air temperatures about average really in the west but uh, warm with both southerly winds over in the eastern part of Europe. Scandinavia also seeing the upper air temperatures uh, picking up once again and that's the extent of the rainfall by Thursday so just widely very unsettled really across most parts of Europe with uh, with uh, spells of heavy rain and uh, showers in between all the way from the far west right way over onto the eastern side of Europe just in the far north and northeast again it remains drier and colder up there and temperatures on Thursday they look cold in the extreme north and northeast otherwise average in the west and uh, a little bit warmer than average over on the east side of Europe up. I mean, I'll just run you out to day 10, so low pressure remaining in control of the weather through most parts of Europe as we go from Friday into Saturday and Sunday, the last weekend of October 28th, 29th of October, looking very unsettled um, with low pressure in control, bringing spells of rain, and uh, perhaps I'm turning a little bit colder across some northern western parts of Europe as well, but jet shrink dig south, as we might, might start pulling some slightly colder air uh, there from um, the north as we go into that last weekend of October. But the main story is the unsettled weather. Um, very unsettled at the moment across Western Europe and as the next week 10 days evolves, we will see um, those very unsettled conditions gradually working their way further and further eastward. So by this time next week, pretty much the whole of Europe looking very unsettled, except in the far north where it will remain drier and colder. Right, that's your European outlook for this week. If you've enjoyed the forecast, please do like, share and subscribe. We're going to be back a little bit later on your 10 to 14 day. Um, but for the European outlook for this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.